Billed as a house party in a North Korean living room, an interactive art exhibit is raising funds for North Korean refugees while giving people a glimpse into daily life in the country, considered one of the most closed off in the world. Most Canadians, when they think about North Korea, it's often the leader. For us, it was important to start a conversation about the North Korean people and not, not a story where they're passively suffering under this horrible regime. Human rights group Han Voice curated an exhibit called the People's Museum of North Korea so Canadians can better understand life in the dictatorship and the daily challenges faced trying to connect with the world and secure necessities. They'll actually be walking into a North Korean living room. You'll be able to get... Uh, uh, just a sense of what it's like to be a North Korean accessing information for the first time, of having that initial curiosity of the outside world all the way to the end where we talk about the escape and the moment that North Koreans decide to escape. Chung explains that escape is an arduous process that can take several attempts. For North Koreans that are escaping the country, uh, when they go into China, they're immediately at risk of being returned. When they're sent back, they're punished for leaving. And if they're able to make it through China and get to Southeast Asia, they then need to travel to, to safe ground in, in a uh, safe third country. Canada is one of those countries and the first in the world to allow private sponsorship of North Korean refugees. So last year we reached an agreement with the Canadian government to uh, resettle uh, five North Korean refugee families. Uh, this is significant because for the first time in Canadian history, uh, everyday Canadians will be able to sponsor North Korean refugees. Han Voice is hoping to raise $50,000 per family through donations to the free exhibit, as well as by partnering with Canadian, Korean, religious and community groups. They hope it is just the beginning of a long-term strategy. So this is a pilot program and so we're hoping that with the success of this pilot we'll be able to create a permanent and sustainable pathway for North Korean refugees. The exhibit runs here at the stacked market till July 22nd and for more information about it and how to donate you can go to our website citynews.ca. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.